I decided to go through the union mainly for because it's get paid more, but also I know that the training is way better. Because before, before I actually got in, I was going to do a non-union apprenticeship, but I didn't really like how the training was set up and it was more difficult. We had to go out and find our own work. And I knew that through the apprenticeship, we would get placed somewhere and you pretty much, it's better job security through the union. Just the facility, the training facility uh, itself, uh, when I was doing the non-union, it was just one classroom, like little, just um, like, we were just doing uh, switches and stuff. It wouldn't have like a ranch house where we can actually pipe and like see stuff that we would see in the real world. So that, I feel like that's the big main difference. It's the equipment. In. It's definitely increases your confidence because you're training in school the exact same things that you're gonna go out in the field and do. So it's not, you're not going out completely blind. Like you, we see everything for the most part in school. And then we just go out and do it on a bigger scale. The main thing I would say, of course, is to pay. Because that's what everybody, that's like the main reason people work is to get paid. So uh, that and just safety, because safety is real big in the union. It's not necessarily important in non-union because we all see uh, when you're driving down the street and you see workers like working on their homes or something, they're not necessarily using the best practices uh, for safety. So I feel like that's very important safety and just job security. I learned about it because I always used to drive past it on the expressway, the other sign. And I was, it was maybe maybe uh, 2010 when I actually started paying attention. I was like, I always wanted to be an electrician, but I never thought about coming through the apprenticeship program until like 2010, 2011. That was the very first time I took the test. I didn't pass, of course. But so it's always been something that's been in my mind to want to do. So just, you know, living life. I went to a university, got a bachelor's degree, and did that for a little while, but it always come back to, I want to be an electrician. So I finally got in. I found the four lenses, of course, I found it very informative. Because it's things that I already think about, but not necessarily in that light. And, and to have the resources right there where it's like, oh, you know, I kind of think this way or like with the different colors, it's like, oh, yeah, that's definitely me. And like, then you realize that, oh, like this blue, that's, I know somebody that's blue. Like it really brings an understanding of being better, better able to understand others. My biggest takeaway is just how important it is to treat everyone as an individual and instead of like, instead of treating them like this whole group, I'm gonna treat them all the same. Because even that group is comprised of individuals. They just, at that moment, they might have that group mentality, but every, they all still got their individual, you know, beliefs, systems, or, or, the, or hobbies. So just treat everybody as an individual. Everybody in the team brings a different personality to the team. So you gotta be able to interact with each individual in the best way. So that's really important to, like I know if, if I'm talking to someone who's a blue and they always wanna talk about their family or they always wanna talk Every time I get in proximity to them, I know that's what they need to do. So I, I'm okay to listen to that. I feel like 
it'll it'll impact the assembly to in the workplace because either way it's interpersonal skill that you have to use daily. You always have to talk to different people. No matter where you go, you go to the store and interact with different people, or you go to the gym, you go for a walk in the park, it's always different people to interact with and they're all doing their own things. You gotta be okay with, you know, you gotta be able to adapt to your environment and positively. Again, it goes to just, just the quality of the school. The training that we do is everything that we would do in the field, except on a smaller scale. So, like we went outside and we built the, the solar panel system with the, the mounts and everything. And so it's pretty much exactly if we went in the field, we would do that exact same thing, except it would be in a large solar field so that we would have to just do this, do it more times. So the school really prepares us to do things on a larger scale. I don't want to be in the field my whole career. I want to move up into, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what all the positions are, but something that's not in the field anymore. You know, just to, just to, I don't want to have, I don't want to be, put that stress on my body my whole career, if I don't have to. So, if I can get into, you know, estimating or whatever the position is, whatever I got to go to school to learn, I'm willing to do that, because I like, I like learning new things anyway, so. It's whatever, whatever my, whatever it takes me, that's why I go. I'll be an instructor, why not? Just to, just to give back to the school, to the union that's given me so much, I can put back what I can. I definitely would.